Hello again, my fellow Jetty users. Welcome back to my workshop. And this is an unexpected episode two of the circular coupling video, uh, particularly with respect to the likes of the Bernreiter vectored thrust tube. And uh, Dave McQueenie, on seeing my video about how to do the circular coupling, uh, was able to very quickly uh, produce a, this lovely app for the transmitter that shows visually on screen what is happening with your mixing. And uh, so I thought I'd do a video to show you what happens and it will perhaps better explain a couple of the things I mentioned in the video yesterday. So uh, the app allows you to assign four servos to it. We have uh, basically pitch and yaw, which is the elevator and rudder servos and the radius that's being used at the time. So when I move the elevator and rudder sticks, the red dot will move. For example, I do that and it shows I've got elevator pitch 100, no yaw, radius 100. That's because we've set it to all the travels to 100%. Okay. And if I push on the rudder stick, it goes out here. Uh, if I was to push the pitch forward, you can see what we were talking about in the thing is that the Bernreiter thrust tube uh, instructions say preferably don't get into this region here because uh, it will generate some extreme forces and may cause damage. So full right, full down, that's where sticks are that's where the servos have gone to and that's where if you were watching the variable thrust tube from the back it would be way up here now okay and in blue on the blue circle we have the vectored thrust pitch yaw and the actual radius achieved now you never want radius to go above a hundred if we look at the uh servos without the radius control the radius goes up to 141 which is actually an entirely predictable number because it is the square root of the sum of the squares are there because it's a right angle triangle and that's hypotenuse and so that squared plus that squared equals hypotenuse squared and if that's one and that's one then that's going to be root two which is 1.41 and there you are so 100 100 141 yep now what my program does is limit it to 100 almost all the way around um it it doesn't let it go above 100 it slightly comes below it sometimes so let's switch on the vectored thrust and now the blue will move along with the red so if i give full right we can see that the pipe and the rudder have gone fully right you see that your 100 to the right read is 100 da, 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 read 100 and if I do it with pitch, there we go again. Pitch uh, elevator servo has gone to 100. Vector thrust has gone to 100. Both of them radius 100. Lovely. Now, watch what happens when I combine it. I will now feed in right rudder and right yaw. So what will happen is that the red dot, as we've seen, will go up to that corner. What happens to the blue dot? Does it follow around the circle? Oh my goodness, yes it does. Lovely. And now if I start letting the elevator or pitch off, then the red dot will come down here, but we'll still be left with full right yaw. There we go. It follows around the circle. And if I pull back on the stick, and then left rudder, for, uh, oops, not neutral, left, forward on that stick, keep going forward, and now yaw back towards the middle, yaw to the right, uh, pitch back. So you can see that the yaw servo, uh, vector thrusts output, is going round almost precisely in a circle. You might notice that at the midpoint there's a little kink. And it's due to um, sort of approximations and things that are going on in the programme where uh, the the, the, the yaw and the pitch are trying to wipe each other out. So uh, let's go full right, full down, 
You can see it's gone to there. Now let's have a look. The uh, stick is fully forward, so pitch is 100. Your stick's fully right, so yaw is 100, radius 141. Without the program, then the vector thrust nozzle will be out there. But with the program, the pitch is 71, the yaw is 71, and therefore the radius is 100. So we've managed to maintain that 100 radius all the way around. So you have let the pitch off, radius 100, because that's what it's doing. Okay, now, two things that are minor flaws in the programming. Uh, watch what happens to the radius as I push the pitch forward. It does wobble a little bit below 100, only a little bit. See, there we go, comes down to 95, and then comes back up to 100 at the midpoint. And then as I let the yaw off again, It'll vary down a little bit, 95, and then come back up to 100. And that's the cause of that little bit of kink there. So it never gets above 100, so we've protected the system from damage, but it does come slightly below it. Um, and the other thing is something that I did mention in the video yesterday, is that this coupling is going on all the time not just when we hit the limit. Ideally, what you would like, if I switch the vector thrust off, so we've just got the pitching. If I give it a fixed amount of right rudder, and I hold the rudder there, let's come out to here, okay? Now imagine uh, I start adding pitch. Yep, what you want is the response to go up in a straight line until it hits the limit, and only then start going around the curve, okay? So remember, this is the elevator servos, so it, it doesn't matter that it's going up there. But watch what happens when I switch the vector to thrust on. So the blue dot will come out here. And if I add pitch, what we'd want is the blue dot to follow the red dot up to here. And then when the red dot goes beyond it, the blue dot start following around the curve. But because it's doing this coupling all the time, it will actually start curving away straight away. So I'm holding on a... F try and get it locked in there. It's my fingers. Hold on a fixed amount of yaw. And I start adding pitch. There, can you see the blue line now curving away? There we are. And so you have to add more yaw into it to get it back to the amount of yaw you had. Um, and it's the same if you have a fixed amount of pitch, then the yaw starts pulling it away, so you have to add more pitch in. Um, and I did mention that in the video as, as a, a, a small uh, a problem you might have. If you move one of the controls, you'll have to increase the other one. Or if you reduce one of the controls, you'd have to reduce the other one as well. Um, so this does a, a beautiful visualization. Watch the blue dot. It does move very close to being a circle, which I'm very happy with, um, but it's not perfect. So I'm still trying to work on a perfect program for it. Anyway, I thought you would love to see this visualizer uh, because it, it makes far more clear what I was trying to tell you in some of the video yesterday. So do enjoy that.